Hello all, welcome back to Skillink. We understood in the previous video that the wake region is a thing that exists that leads to chaos and unfavorable losses for vehicles moving against the wind. Today, we learn how to reduce the wake region and in turn reduce the drag. Reducing the wake region in aerodynamics is crucial for minimizing drag and improving the efficiency and performance of vehicles, aircrafts and other objects moving through a fluid. Some of the things we can do are, let's take this case. A car moving against the wind. A moving car displaces the air ahead. Air is forced to flow around and to the rear. This can be visualized using streamlines which broadly follow the contour of the body. Any sudden changes in the car shape compels the streamlines to deviate. This leaves zones of stagnant air pockets which affects the mean flow. Further, the streamlines are from the body. The more they are, it will tend to straighten out. Hence, the need for streamlining. Streamlining talks about designing the shape of the body to have a smooth shape to reduce the flow separation. The shape of the vehicle needs to have smooth changes in the shape. Any sharp change will lead to flow separation. A simple representation can be seen here. This is precisely why race cars make use of spoilers. The spoiler, or you can call it wing, delays the separation point and moves it away from the vehicle. Another method to do so is through active flow control. Actively controlling the flow using techniques like blowing air into the boundary layer or suctioning it out can help manage this flow separation and reduce the wake. The wing tip shown in this image is a civil airliner wing equipped with two stage fluidic actuators between the slat edge and the wing tip. This helps with suppression of local flow separation and in increasing the lift to drag ratio. The consequence of this could be that it's possible to reduce the installed thrust in case of smaller engines or to even increase the maximum takeoff weight in case of higher passenger capacity engines. Taking the results from the reference, we can see the influence of the slow control method. We can also see that the wake region is reduced significantly for the controlled flow. For more CFD content, stay tuned to Skill Link.